Another powerful earthquake struck Taiwan on Monday morning, this time with epicenter in Hualien's Zhuoxi Township. Seismologists say the magnitude 5.9 quake was just one of dozens of aftershocks of a 6.8 earthquake that struck Taidong on Sunday afternoon. They say that since Taiwan already has experienced eight earthquakes with magnitudes of at least six this year, 2023 could be a calmer year, seismically speaking. People flee Chinri Elementary School in Hualien as landslides rush down from the mountain opposite the school's playground, taking onlookers by surprise. Taidong's Guanshan and Chishang townships were struck by two earthquakes with magnitudes above six over the weekend, followed by continuous aftershocks. Then on Monday, Hualien's Zhuoxi township was the epicenter of a magnitude 5.9 earthquake. The Weather Bureau seismologists say more large earthquakes are unlikely in the short term. I think that these concentrated aftershocks should be nearly over. Already they aren't so frequent anymore. Also, I think the chances of another large aftershock are quite low. Experts say Taiwan is currently in a period of heightened seismic activity. In Taiwan, the year 1999 recorded 15 earthquakes with a magnitude of at least six. That's the most recorded in one year. That's followed by 1951 with 13 big quakes, and this year with eight recorded so far. However, if history is any indicator, next year should see an obvious reduction in seismic activity. We've already had eight large-scale quakes this year, so this has dissipated most of that built-up energy. So I'm hopeful that next year will be fairly quiet. The weekend's large earthquakes in Taidong occurred along a fault line under the central mountain range that was not previously a focus of attention. Researchers have now discovered dense seismic zones on the eastern side of the mountain range. The fault line under the central mountain range is on the west side of the rift valley. That means it slopes eastward but it doesn't reach the surface, so seismologists didn't list it as an active fault. Researchers say this type of blind thrust fault may cause large earthquakes, even though it is not exposed on the surface. They also advise paying more attention to similar faults in Jiayi County and Tainan, which is a potential high-risk area given how seldom the faults there release energy.